Hey there, Disney Glam fam, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jossum, AKA Awesome Jossum, and I wanna thank you for clicking on my video. On this channel, we like to celebrate Disney, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. So if you like any or all of those things, consider bippity boppity bopping that subscribe button, ring the bells of notification so you're instantaneously notified when I post something new, and please leave a big old thumbs up at the end of this video if you liked it all the way through. Now today I'm so excited because we are diving into magic mail. That's right my friends, I had so many amazing, beautiful Disney friends reach out to me and ask to send me a few different pieces of mail. Of course, this is not necessary whatsoever, but I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart because I know that all of my friends just want to bring a little spark of magic to my day. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. First up, I have this beautiful mailer from my friend Fran over at Frantastic Pins. Now, Fran and I are fairly new friends. Um, we met over the interweb here actually on YouTube. I'll be sure to leave her channel linked down in the description box below. You don't wanna miss out on her page. She does unboxings, she does hauls, she does pin unboxings. So if you're a pin head, you definitely need to check her out. Now, I will be honest, I'm not necessarily a pin person, but her videos are so well put together that it's super captivating and I love watching to see what pins she's getting in her mystery boxes or just what new pin she's adding to her collection. Now Fran um, did send me a little care package. I already pre-opened it. So let's go ahead and get right in. So of course she incorporated a card. Okay, the queen of pins. I know this is a pin. Ooh, it says Jossum in rainbow. And it says a small piece of magic mail to wish you a happy birthday month. And thank you for co-hosting and inviting me to join the World of Color Box Swap, Fran. Oh my goodness, you are so freaking cute. Thank you so much for that. So um, disclaimer or spoiler alert, if you guys didn't know, on my Instagram, I have been promoting the heck out of a co-hosted swap that you guys will see here on YouTube June 1st. That's right, it is coming around the corner and myself and Nicholas decided to host the World of Color box swap. Now this box swap is just celebrating in on the month of pride for the LGBTQIA plus community and all of their amazing allies. So we decided to get a few Disney individuals who are part of that community and a few individuals who support that community and come together to showcase a super colorful box swap. So you don't want to miss out. Be sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out when we actually upload the video. There's going to be so many amazing Disney YouTubers a part of this. I promise you you won't want to miss so without further ado let me go ahead and open this up so I can show you the pin that she got me oh my goodness this is so cute this is perfect actually all right so let me take it out of the plastic <gasps> Oh my gosh, this is so, so pretty. So again, like I mentioned, I'm not necessarily a pin person. However, I have noticed I am starting to get a small collection. And I will be honest, I like to have perfectly selected pins for my collection. I'm not gonna collect things that I don't necessarily like. Mickey is definitely one of those people that I love. And most importantly, this is a true heartfelt gift from a friend. She did provide me the Sorcerer Mickey and it is in the rainbow color story. So in preparation for our World of Color box swap and for the month of pride, she decided to give this to me. And I am so, 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 so thankful. Thank you so much, Fran. This is gorgeous. I definitely need to find a way to start showcasing my pins. I know some people have pin boards. Maybe that's what I'm gonna have to do. Let me know down in the comment section below. How do you guys showcase your pins? Thank you so much, Fran. You are amazing, and I can't wait to see your unboxing. All right, we got another mailer here. Oh my gosh, I wish I could show you guys the front of this mailer. It has so many of my favorites. Oh, this is so cute. You can see on the back, it has a sticker of Cinderella, Rapunzel, Ariel, Belle, and on the front we have uh, Nala, Simba, Jasmine, Snow White, Zazu, Scar, Ariel, Elsa, the lamp. This is so cute. All right, we have a cute little envelope with a letter and it says, thanks. Oh my goodness. 
says, Dear Jossum, you can read this on camera. Thank you, okay. Because <laughs> sometimes you never know if you can read certain um, letters from individuals on camera or if it's more so a personal thing. So I appreciate you letting me know says, I wanted to once again thank you so very much for watching my Tarzan collection video and for pretty much accepting me into the Forgotten Favorites collab. I also wanted to send you this little package of magic mail to help brighten your day like you did mine. You make me less afraid to be myself in a world that's very judgmental, but you are not. I really respect and love how you are never one to be mean or say bad words about anybody. You are completely beautiful inside and out and such a loving soul that I would love to become a YouTube Disney internet bestie with. Everything I put in this bubble mailer is stuff I made slash came from me myself and I hope you love it all. I apologize up front that I couldn't gift you better things that I couldn't have bought on Etsy or something like that but I don't have a lot, well, really any money because I don't work right now since the movie theater I work for is still closed due to COVID, but I still hope you enjoy what I gave you. Have a magical day and remember who you are, Mufasa. Love, Gracie. Oh, thank you so much, Gracie. Yes, so Gracie is an internet friend that I made um, through our Forgotten Favorites collab. If you guys haven't checked it out, I'll be sure to leave one of the videos listed up above, but basically myself and Syria put together a collaboration in which every single month a few Disney YouTubers come together and just share their love for a forgotten favorite. We celebrate and select a specific movie that many people don't really talk about and we want to celebrate it with unique videos showcasing our own individuality. So that could be fashion, it could be makeup, it could be a craft, it could be singing, it could be whatever you want, but we celebrate this. So um, I actually got to know Gracie through that collaboration and the Tarzan one in specific. Um, so she messaged me and she asked if she could do a video celebrating the forgotten favorite because it was one of her favorites. And I was like, of course, you're more than welcome to do it. Like this is just a collection of people putting together some videos so you're more than welcome to do so and any of you out there who want to celebrate in on the forgotten favorites you're more than welcome to do so just dm me over on instagram and we can kind of talk about perhaps how to go about that but um so gracie did do a video i watched it i commented because it was so well put together she shared all of her favorite tarzan uh, memorabilia and it was just so sweet to see so thank you so much in advance all right so let's see what we got here oh my goodness this is so pretty so she decided to color me a picture of Tarzan and Jane oh, I love 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 their romantic connection and she wrote two worlds one family this is so special I truly appreciate it I know a lot of the times here in the YouTube community like we get so caught up in seeing the newest Jim Shore then Wiss Funko like all of these materialistic things behind me but it's just that materialistic things and I love incredibly thoughtful things that are created and made from the heart so I truly appreciate this I keep all of my keepsakes such as my cards and special things that individuals send to me. So let's go into the Ziploc baggie and see what is inside. All right. All right, so it says, inspired by your favorite princess, spoiler, Pocahontas. Of course, she knows Pocahontas is my all-time favorite. Oh my goodness, and she created this beautiful little bracelet and it's so pretty. So it has like black and teal and this goldish beige color. Oh yeah, this is definitely going to be rocked in the park. I love it. I love like um, dainty little pieces that you can kind of just put on your arm and stack. I am definitely a stacker with like Lillian and Co bracelets, Alex and Ani, um, different things like uh, these. I have leather bracelets, things like that. So this is super cute and I definitely will be rocking it. So thank you so much. So pretty and honestly, you are so talented to have created this. Wow, I am feeling so spoiled right now and I have a little bit more to get through. All right, so next up I have this package and I have been anticipating it for the longest time. This is from my friend Miranda over on Instagram known as Lashes in Wonderland. Now Lashes in Wonderland is an incredible small shop company that focuses on creating beautiful false lashes with a Disney twist or inspiration. So uh, actually the lashes that I have on right now are the ones from her shop and they're called Yoda One For Me. 
get it, Yoda one for me. Anywho, I thought it was super cute. Um, and they are so comfortable. They literally are nice and full. I love a dramatic lash and these definitely are that. Um, they kind of feather out and wing out to the tip. Um, I actually have a makeup tutorial showcasing how I created this very special look using these lashes, which I will leave linked up above. But Miranda was so gracious enough to send me her newest collection complimentary. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this here on camera and share with you guys the newest collection from Lashes in Wonderland. All right, so inside, she has done a really good job at packaging it in some bubble mailer. Let me go ahead and snip this. You guys are not ready. You're not ready. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here we go. So right on top, she put, Hey there, Jossum. I am so incredibly thrilled to finally send you these. Consistently blown away by your artwork. So, so, so excited to see you bring these lashes to life. Feel free to share your code, awesome. Hope we can have a park day when I move to Orlando. Always Miranda Lashes in Wonderland. Surprise! Yes, so Miranda reached out to me. We kind of went back and forth in DMs, in discussion. I absolutely love her. I love her small shop. So she decided to send me these lashes complimentary and provide a discount code for all of my followers and for anyone that really just wants to enjoy some beautiful false lashes. So if you want, head on over to Lashes in Wonderland, which I will leave linked down in the description box below. And if you find a pair of lashes that you absolutely love, and trust me, that won't be hard to do, you can use the code AWESOME to save some cash. So, all right, in all of her packaging, she does an incredible job of adding like little extras. So let's see what she has here in this little envelope. Oh my goodness. So she has a few stickers. This one, as you can see, says unusual couple and you have Wanda here. And right here we have another one that says beauty comes from within with Bell and Chip. So stinking cute. And we do have her business card. This is so beautiful. Thank you so much for this. Are you ready? WandaVision, one WandaVision. All right, y'all, I'm gonna have to like stop this little music for a quick minute because I need y'all to know that I am a hashtag fake fan, just like the McDorks pop say. Um, I haven't seen WandaVision yet, but I will say these lashes are to die for. I have been seeing them blow up on Instagram through all of my favorite Disney creators who utilize these lashes. Let me take them out of this plastic packaging so you can see. So as you can see on the front, we have this gorgeous packaging. It has the retro television that says Lashes in Wonderland in the WandaVision font. You have three sets of lashes kind of peeking out from behind and there is a little draw pool that you pull off to the side and all of the lashes pull out. are gorgeous. It's definitely making me have like FOMO, so I need to like catch up on WandaVision. Um, but I love these. So the first ones are very like full and voluminous. The second ones are probably my all time favorite from this collection because they look like very feathery and there's like different spritz of hair and it does incorporate a few red strands. So that's super unique and super cool. Agatha was here is also stunning. Like Honestly, I'm telling you guys, when I saw her website and I saw the lashes that she put together, I was in awe because one, it incorporates beauty and Disney, which is what I'm all about. But most importantly, like the styling, the comfort, the look of these lashes looks so luxe at such an affordable price. And to save even more money, again, use the code AWESOME and you'll save on some wonderful lashes that I know you will love. So thank you so much, Miranda. You were such a sweetheart to send me these. I can't wait to wrap them out on my page. All right, so next up I have this cute little package and it comes from my friends over at Kim's Candles, which is an Instagram page that I do follow over on Instagram. I will be sure to leave all of her information linked down in the description box below. They reached out to me and were so gracious enough to send me my very own candle from their collection. So that way I can let them know my thoughts, share it with you guys, and just enjoy in a magical piece from their collection. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and slice right in and share this with you guys. 
Now I forgot to mention, Kim's Candles is a beautiful smosh shop that creates these wonderful and unique handmade candles inspired by Disney. So right on top, we have this beautiful card that says, thank you for your order, candle care. Allow the candle to burn for a few hours. The first time you light it, this creates an even melting pool and ensures your candles burn evenly. Trim the wick to a quarter inch each time you light it for a clean burn. Always burn within sight, keep away from flammable objects, Please note, frosting and sinkholes occur naturally when using a soy wax. So this is so incredible. Soy wax candles are amazing. They burn very clean. They don't let out any sort of things into the air. And I'm excited to dive right in. Oh my goodness, she's done a great job making it look super duper magical. So we have some blue and white floofies. <gasps> no, she didn't. Oh my goodness, they are so incredible. So she sent me to her website and said, choose any candle that speaks to you. I let her know um, three of them that I really enjoyed. And I said, honestly, I want it to be a surprise. So you choose one for me and send it my way. She's actually sent me two candles. She sent me two candles. You are such a sweetheart. Take a look at this. This is stunning. I love the packaging. It says Kim's Magical Candles. And this one is called Magical Night, hand poured in Rhode Island. So this is a American brand here in the United States. This is a 16 ounce candle and I am so excited to dive right in. Now, one thing I didn't mention is on the tops of her candles, there's such a unique like Disney-esque twist. You're just gonna see right now, hold on. Ugh. Here we go. Oh my goodness, this is stunning. I have to take a moment to look at it first. Oh my God, okay. So take a look at that. I don't know how she does this, but she does an incredible job imprinting this beautiful embellishment to the top of her candles. This is a side silhouette of Cinderella. And as you can see, the candle is a soft baby blue. The silhouette is this nice baby pink. It's a double wick candle, so it can burn down evenly. There's this beautiful sparkling glitter all around the candle. And let me go ahead and see how it smells. I don't remember what the notes are in this, but if I can find it, I will leave it right here on the screen for you guys to see. It smells so clean. It has almost like a slight fruity tint to it. Oh, it's so good. I can't wait to burn this. Thank you so much. All right, so next up, she did send me an eight ounce candle and this one is called Enchanted Rose. This was another one that I was like, ooh, this looks really good. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is it. Oh, this smells wonderful. Okay, so this obviously is a nod to Belle from Beauty and the Beast. I can't get over this candle, it smells so good. So it's like this very fresh rose scent and it's not like those like powdery rose scents. I know sometimes those can smell super artificial or not really as pleasant. This just smells like very clean, very smooth, super rosy, but not intimidating or perfumey. And almost like there's like a nice warm base to it. I don't know if it's like vanilla or some kind of like sandalwood or something, but it smells incredible. I cannot wait to burn this one. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. This is stunning. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So if you guys are looking for some amazing Disney themed candles, definitely check out Kim's Magical Candles. I will again leave this shop listed down in the description box below. Thank you guys over at Kim's Candles for sending this to me. I truly appreciate it. And I cannot wait to burn these in my room, in my bathroom, all over my home because I just want my house to smell like this. <laughs> All right, so next up, I have a beautiful Funko that was gifted to me from my friend Dawn over at Cooper's Creations, which again, uh, created these beautiful, stunning ears. I'll leave the video linked up above for you guys to check out. Um, so my friend Josh over at Josh Goes to Disney was hosting a Funko live sale. I jumped on, I was waiting for this specific pop, and I remember I bid for it, I won it, and he had messaged me and said, hey, this is how much it's gonna cost. And I was like, okay. So I took a little bit of time and then I went back to like respond and send the money. And he had messaged me and said, hey, don't worry about sending money. Someone decided to gift it for you. And I was like, 
gift it for me. Um, so he had mentioned that Don decided to pay for this Funko and have it shipped out to me. So thank you so much, Don. You have literally done way more than you need to. I truly appreciate your thoughtfulness from the bottom of my heart. Um, I was so excited to receive this Funko Pop. I'm gonna have to take it out. I know all of you guys might be like, ah! But honestly, I like to showcase my Funkos, so we have this beautiful depiction of Vanessa, um, well, Ursula as Vanessa, and if you guys didn't know, she's my all-time favorite villain, and I love when she transforms into Vanessa, so she is going to find a beautiful home right over here next to my Ariel Funko that I was gifted for my friend Erica. Next, we have a another Funko that's joining the collection. This was from my friend Nicholas over at the Disney Merch. AKA my Disney hobby. Um, so basically, Nicholas and I decided to trade Funkos because I had received two of the Prince Ali Funkos, one from my friend Erica from Erica Dio Campo, and the second one from my brother for a present. So I decided to gift the secondary one to Nicholas because obviously I don't need two of the same Funkos. And in return, he sent me one of his secondary Funkos goes, which is this cute depiction of a boo as the elephant. And I love this Funko. He has his beautiful little trunk. He's in this soft lilac color. He has a magenta um, vest as in the movie. And he has his cute little fez hat. This is so stinking cute. I can't wait to pop him up here and add him to my collection. All right. And last but not least, I had some hand delivered magic mail. Yes, that's right, my friends. I had an incredible incredible time with my friend Sue from Bankers Bubbly, which again, I will leave her channel listed down in the description box below. You may have seen a few of our videos on YouTube already, um, but the last day that she was here, I decided to drive over and just wish her well on her way back home and thank her so much for coming to visit me here in Orlando. And to my surprise, she had a bag of magic mail waiting for me. Like why? Her coming here was more than enough, but she decided to give me some beautiful goodies and I could not wait to get into them. So I had to do it in the room with her. Take a look. Um, today is Sue's last day here in Orlando and I had to swim on by to their Little Mermaid suite because she said she had some hand delivered magic mail for me. Like you really didn't have to do that. Honestly, spending time with you and Crystal was absolutely amazing. But then she's like, I got something else for you. Yeah, just some goodies from 1998. <laughs> <laughs> it's just little God. stuff, but yeah, there you go, you. Disney Glam Fam. Okay, first off, look at this. It's literally this from 90. Impeccable. I love it. Nostalgia, vintage. It matched my, um, you know, my number one fan. Oh, sure. that's right. Yeah. I will have to insert a little picture of that here. Because literally the first day that I met Sue at Epcot, she bombarded me with a whole ensemble <laughs> that just said like Jocelyn's number one fan. She had the little number one sports finger with my face on it. I was taken back. It was it was pretty epic. I appreciate that. A little creeped out. Yeah, I, was, I appreciate it. I knew you would be. It's okay. <laughs> I just All out. right, so this definitely is in your aesthetic. This is definitely yes. your brand. Yeah. So I appreciate the attention to detail. Okay. All right. So, I'm gonna let you direct yep. me because literally, when else do you get hand delivered magic? This mail? is the card inside. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Take a look at that. So we have a Disney Aladdin like zipper pouch magic carpet with a little tassel. Ding, 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 ding. And she said we have the card inside. Oh, I'm glad you're here because I literally would have. I know, I know. It's good. So it says Jossam. It's in this beautiful gold metallic foiled envelope. Oh my goodness. It's from the Midnight Masquerade collection. God, you're so good. And you got Our my girl. favorite girl. You got my favorite girl. So we have Esmeralda here looking oh so fabulous. And on the back it says, what do they have against people who are different anyway? Oh, that's, that's perfect. Very, very good. Yeah. Sorry if I sound hoarse, you guys. Literally this week and next week so much. is going to be the killer of me. Yesterday, um, I met up with Brittany, the Disney ginger. You guys will be seeing vlogs between mm -hmm. us and with the Disney ginger. And literally I've been screaming like every day. 
That's good though. Good screams. I haven't screamed this this loud and crazy. <laughs> All right, so it says, Jossam, if you're reading this, it means we're hanging out finally in person. Loki, I'm your number one fan, though. Here are a few goodies of your faves, and maybe some zaddies will pop out. Thank you for being such an incredibly supportive friend and including me in so many awesome Jossam productions. I love you so much, beauty guru, love, Sue, XOXO. Stop, I'm gonna cry right now. I know, we're not gonna leave. I don't wanna leave. Okay. Okay, first Now everything, it's not even, it's not even wrapped or anything. It's just kind of, oh. You're such an amazing person. Thank you, Ari. You can go for it, because just go in. Just dive. Ooh. It's not wrapped. Something's popping in my face. So I'll just take this guy for her. All right. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. You know it was coming. Oh yes. All right, so Sue told me about this. I'm so excited because we both share a love for our favorite princess, Pocahontas. And it is um, a Miko from that one collection. What was it last Wisdom. year? The mm -hmm. Wisdom Collection. So it has, sometimes the right path is not the easiest one, Grandmother Willow. One of my favorite quotes from the movie. This is so cute. Love the color story. Yeah. Look, you guys are matching. The colors. Ooh. Miko. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is so cute. Definitely gonna find Yay. this one. I'll be the garbage woman. <laughs> Alright, any order? Because there's like... Oh yeah, no, I didn't think of that far through. So I didn't even know if I was gonna... Wait, do that? Yeah, this one lasts, obviously. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna go into this one. It's a smaller package, and it has Chief Paladin. I wrapped that for oh hours, if you can tell. Totally. <laughs> like, this one probably took the longest, <laughs> I'm sure. Look at that tape work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh man. I guess I'm not a professional. I have a nail. I didn't bring. Scissors. I have a nail. It's okay. All right. All I right. got it. <laughs> All right. So we have some purple tissue paper. Oh yeah, he's in there. Okay. I gotta be careful. I was about to fling it out. This is so such a rush. Total Nick status. Okay. Right. Can just I, throw I, it. This is just an homage to Nick. Mm -hmm. Pull whatever's in here out. Yeah. All right. Oh no, I'm gonna pick that up. Though, yeah. I don't do that to house. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Little Miko. We have a little Miko ornament. Oh, this is perfection. So last year I didn't get to put up a tree um, in my beauty space for like filming, but definitely want to do one this year and I have so many new ornaments to add. This is so cute. Thank and a bun, you. like Shelby and I and you, because I had like three of them from Disneyland Paris as well. We'll be matching like We're like 20 cologne. ornament people. Oh yes. my God. Like the, 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 the turtle doves. Turtle doves. Yes. Oh my God. But with Miko. Yeah. <laughs> this is so cute. I gotta be careful. I don't want to break up. Let me put it right I there. mean, you almost chopped them. I sure did. Oh, great. We've got a nice little notepad oh. with Aladdin, or not Aladdin, with a boost face on it. And this is great because I actually go through so many notepads, like jotting ideas and things like that. So I have them all the time. Oh my gosh. You oh, you weren't supposed to read that till like later. No, you can. It's just it's funny. <laughs> I just put it. Just... Says Boo, Abu, remember Sue loves you, Sue, as you spell it. The I'm cheese. Dead. The I'm... cheese. Okay, but here's, no. but here's the thing. I literally realized I was spelling Sue with an E, and I was like, wait, she doesn't spell it with an E. I do. No, you don't. Yeah, D D spells the S U, and then you started doing it. S U E. Well, at first, Sue. I know, but then like I was so confused. I don't because care. People are putting Sue, and then I was like, wait, maybe it's because they're into Suzanne, so she doesn't really go by Sue. Oh, so I, I like, don't care. You spell it how you want. All right, it's... you know it's with love anyway. I know. E or no E. Spell it XOXO. Ooh, perfect. Gossip, bro. <laughs> I'm just <kidding. laughs> All right, next up we have this. I love it. It's wrapped in a nautical theme. This is gonna be like the most epic magic now. I've never had anything hand delivered. Oh, so this, this is, is good. Exciting. Oh this yeah, I know. I'm like the magic school bus. Oh my goodness, what is this? Let's open it. You're awesome. I'm screaming right now. I'm screaming. Stop screaming, you're losing your voice. I need to stop screaming. <laughs> oh my God, this is a perfect freaking mug. So if you guys have been here a while, a while, you already know that I love, love, love coffee mugs. Every morning they just like, make my day so much better. And she got me this super cool mug that says you're Jawsome, and inside there's a little shark. Cause it's like your name, Jawsome. I love it. I've Jossum. seen a t-shirt at um, the Finding Nemo ride in Epcot and it has Bruce and it says Jawsome and I'm yeah. like, I need that. You have I to have to that. It. You have to get that. Oh, thank you so much. This oh is so God. cute. It's gonna be my favorite it's mug. Just little, little dumb stuff. No, it's not dumb. It's perfect. I oh. love it. All right, we got 
something here. Mm -hmm. It's Aladdin and the King of Thieves starring Robin Williams. Mm -hmm. Okay, it feels like a photo. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> This is awesome! You know what's crazy? I feel like I stumbled upon this once before and I was like, I should totally get that. And I was like, no. Because why? People are gonna judge you. What about you this is very you besides that it's Aladdin? So, Sue already knows. Sue has Zaddy Zeus and I have Zaddy Kasim. So, Kasim is Aladdin's dad, and let me tell you, he's total hashtag daddy vibes though. This cute little silver fox. Literally, he's like salt and pepper. He's like a little Look mysterious. This is the second one, right? He dresses so small. Oh, it's, it's covered in this? Yeah, but you see his like goatee. I just imagine him doing that thing. Oh, yeah, it's a good one. Like the lamp. He, he You're hiding this all the time! just rub certain things. I need the three wishes, right? I mean, you have Zeus and his lightning. Yes, right? you can have him! I, I don't think he'll be able to touch him. Yes, he's yours. A little Hildo Stratus. He's yours. Okay, cool. Yeah, I love him. Three wishes. Maybe one day I'll find a silver fox daddy. For now, I'll just stare at this beautiful photo as I hang it behind me in my beauty space. Thank he is you. hot. He is hot. I know. Oh my god, he's hot. I need to put this down before Salt I and pepper. Alright, I think we're at the yes. end of the bag. The mama jama. We saved the big guy for last. We're not size queens, but we did save the big one for last. Sweet wrapping, I know. Can I cover? Sue, are you freaking kidding me right now? Yeah. I mean no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean no. <laughs> oh my god. Why would you do this? Save double, to be honest. Okay. Uh, I, like, I, I like that you're honest. Yeah. Okay. And you need you need this. So. I do. Yeah. Okay. I'm scared though, because now you're questioning yourself if you wrapped it. Did you wrap? Can you cover it? I I think. Do you want to open my magic mail? Yeah, I okay. do. Give me it. Here, I need you to open. We're thing. just checking. Oh, it's the other side. This wouldn't be a video with me if it wasn't a little awkward at some point. Uh, I didn't have a cup of sugar. It's shirt. covered. We'll it's covered. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and open this. Yes. Sorry I look like crap, you guys. It's literally like... Yeah. It is what it is. Alright. So Sue, being Sue, is Cuckoo Kachoo, and she got me a Disney Showcase Jim Shore. Um, I appreciate it in advance. I'm kind of nervous and excited all at once. Oh man. Hope you don't have it. The box looks different to me. I feel like I would remember my box. Isn't okay. that crazy? Yeah. That like you, you know your box. Short and I, I know like the size, the, shape. the dimensions. Mm -hmm. This one looks a little different than I've ever had. I can't believe this is really happening. Okay, yeah. but okay. how do I get in here? Oh, nail? You gonna use my nail? Let's see. Let's there we go. I got it. I want to save your beautiful nail. I don't know what beautiful. Yeah. Okay. I want to save your beautiful nails because I don't want you to show up looking rat and she's I mean, gonna she's gonna question me and be like, what did you do to my <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I had to tell her to. to I don't know. If I was able to plan that. It would have been too tricky. I mean, I talked to him. We got big boys. <laughs> he does. Sure does. All right. Alright, um, let's see how do I do this. Can you unflip it for me? Yeah. Because you're here. Yep. One, two, three. Yeah, one, two, two three. While well, we're in here. Are you freaking kidding me? Say hi. Oh my god. Do you have him? I do not. I've been wanting this one for the longest time. Right. And we talked about it in the Gym Shore Jubilee and I was like, We I need sure it. did. So Sue picked me up this absolutely stunning, stunning, stunning piece. This is called Daddy's Little Princess and it has King Triton and Ariel. There's just something so like magical about this one. I think they did a really good job like capturing their, I don't know, their relationship and mm -hmm. he looks so good. Oh my God, he looks so good. Yeah. Mm. Sculpted. Daddy, sculpted. Sculpted abs. I want to be sculpted like that. Oh my God. I want a picture by the big one. But I eat too many churros. <laughs> I see Disney snacks, so. Pretzels. Yeah. Thank Yay. you so, so, so much. Definitely hug. I love please. you so much. I love you more. You're so amazing. Thank you so much for that. You're welcome. Needed. Are you kidding? My pleasure. <laughs> And there you have it. That was my 
unexpected, hand-delivered magic mail unboxing from the gorgeous and talented Sue. And there you have it. That was my magic mail haul. Thank you all so, so much for tuning in. I truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. As always, friends, I want to thank you all so much for tuning in. Let me know down in the comment section below, what were you most excited to see from this haul and which channel or small shop are you definitely like booking to to check out after this? Let me know down in the comment section below. As always, I want to thank you all so much for tuning in. Stay beautiful, but most importantly, have a magical day. Bye. <laughs>